defenses and counterattacks against a jab attack and a straight punch. The first years of no holds barred or baletudo combats in the West showed the undefeatability of the expert athletes in the art of fighting, especially Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and wrestling. When compared to the other disciplines based on strikes, such as kickboxing or karate. In reality, it was the increased technical level of the fighter specialized in vale tudo that has changed the game. Once the strikers learn the strategies of the grapplers, they prove to be better than their adversaries thanks to punches, knees, and kicks. In fact, going further, there is a basic rule in all combat sports, and it is as follows. In any fight, what is important is the person, and not the discipline practiced. defenses and counterattacks against a direct attack with a hook. From an objective point of view, it can be said that the spreading of Vale Tulu in the world has had a very positive effect. The mutual understanding on behalf of the fighters of both categories that are normally not considered and perhaps not well valued, the strikers and the grapplers. <coughs> Both of them are technically well prepared with submissions and, if performed correctly, will definitely defeat their opponents. But, if there is a search for success in the practice of an extreme sport like Vale Tulu, obviously the correct and rational combination of the best strategies and techniques of both categories will give the best solutions. From this combat-focused vision, based on an open-mindedness and mutual esteem, comes the birth of the institution of cross-fighting, or the technical mixed study of combat. It is the birth of the fight between two different styles and also in this case of cross-fighting and cross-training. The legendary country is Brazil. <laughs>